Yo, what is up, Crocs and Clan members, Poke fans, and others who have some fun this video? I'm Soyuz Crocs, and, and today I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so technically speaking, this video was supposed to go up yesterday. It's the week five preview of the Elysian League, but some personal stuff happened. I actually ended up missing the Nintendo Direct because of the stuff that was going on. I had to watch it later, and uh, there's way too many things. That's why I don't have Joey with me today, uh, unfortunately. Plus, my headphones just got busted, so I don't have headphones either, which would make the conversation really hard with the whole recording and the voice. And it was going to be a mess. So, <clears throat> today, I'm going to basically be doing it by myself. Uh, I don't have, I really have no way to contact Joey. I obviously will have to apologize because I was not able to tell him what was going on. But anyways, so before we get started with uh, what's going to be happening, I need to give you guys an announcement. Uh, unfortunately, because of the lack of contact with the Gardevoir's coach, uh, we ended up having to drop her and we got a new coach. Uh, who was actually, you know, watching the league, keeping up with the league. Really excited to join us. His name is Zach, Z-A-C. Now, he is going to be coaching the Gardevoirs this weekend. Uh, because next week is free agency, he will have a chance to rename his team and actually come up with his own Pokemon. Uh, so, we're going to give him that break. Uh, we are glad to have him on the league. Super excited. So, what do we have looking for week 5? Well, this is the week before free agency week. What is free agency? Well, free agency is basically where we are allowed to drop and uh, drop and add new members to our squad uh, from the current list that we have. So, any Pokemon that were not available or that are still available from the draft will be able to be substituted in, essentially, for a Pokemon that we have. So, for example, I have a plan right now to drop my Glade to pick up Latios. So that's kind of how, how it works. Nobody picked Latios, so that's my first target. Be like, I want Latios, so I'm going to drop my Megalade for Latios. <clears throat> that's basically how it goes. Every, every coach will have their chance to drop certain Pokemon, or the Pokemon they want to drop, in order to draft a new one uh, from the ones that are currently available. So, but that's besides the point. Uh, the team that has uh, a bye week this week is the Elex Forest Future Science. Which makes me mad, because that was, <clears throat> I said at the beginning of the draft, at the beginning of the league, that was going to be my easiest match, because I have Darmanitan, Darmanitan pretty much swept his man's, most of this man's team. So, it really feels bad that I'm not going to be able to do that, making this, I'm upset, I really am. But, um, maybe this will give him a, a chance to maybe analyze what Pokemon he wants to drop, which ones he wants to pick up, maybe diversify his squad a little bit. Um, I mean, he has some good pokes in there, but... The the conjunction of them all together is not a very good thing. So I'm just saying maybe he could think about what his next matchup is going to be, what maybe what he's going to bring in. So other than that, uh, the first matchup we have scheduled is the Nacreen of Retaliates versus the Tortugas. Uh, the Tortugas, you know, like we said before, they came off strong right off the bat. Uh, unfortunately, because of the... The forfeit they had to do due to the technical issues and uh, personal issues, uh, and then the week after that it was a loss. Uh, they're they're basically going to try to come in, uh, come in strong uh, before the before the, the free agency. Uh, and the the Korean City Retaliate is the same thing. Uh, unfortunately for them, they've been on a, a losing streak on the recent. Uh, hopefully they can you know come back uh, strong. This is going to be a very interesting match because both teams are technically on a losing streak right now. Let's see who can pick up the win here. Um, what else? See, I I'm trying to read what what Joey posted on his blog. Try to you know keep myself focused. So uh, there's nothing there's nothing else in there. I know that I know for a fact there is one Pokemon that I specifically talked to with the coach of the Tortugas uh, North. Uh, that he's going to make a drop uh, and an add. Uh, hopefully he gets it because it's definitely going to help him out. Uh, the second match that apparently is scheduled is uh, the Atlanta Braviaries versus my team. So I'm going to be going against Andrew. Uh, like I said, <clears throat> I still have my delay for this match. I still don't know who I'm going to pick, but we'll see. Um, looking at his, at his team, I kind of already think I know which ones he's going to pick. 
So that's kind of what I'm going to have to base my team around. We'll see how that goes. But I already have, <laughs> realistically speaking, I'm not even looking, like, I, I'm looking forward to the match, but I'm more looking forward to, like, the Pokemon that I'm going to be drafting, because I want that Latios, because I know that I'm, I believe I'm fighting Swagsire soon, and he's not dropping Mega Venusaur, and I need something for that damn thing, and Latios is definitely going to be the thing that's going to help me out with that, so, um, but other than that, I mean, I'm looking forward to it, I, I want to see how this goes, I definitely need a win here, I need to keep up, I need to keep up the momentum, I need to, you know, just keep going ahead, steamroll my, steamroll all these people. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, the third match that is set up here is uh, Joey's team, the Babylonas, versus the new coach, uh, the Gardevoirs. Like I said, he is going to be coaching the Gardevoirs for this week before he gets his own team next week. So I'm really interested to see how good this guy is. I, I mean, we have never seen him play, obviously. So I'm really looking forward to see uh, what kind of sort of strategies he's going to bring. Uh, maybe give Joey a run for his money. That man has been getting hacks all the time. I want to see this dude lose. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Joey. I love you. Um, let's see. Uh, the fourth match is the Magnazones versus the Combuskins. Uh, the Combuskins, I mean, after that first week loss against our team, I'm just saying, uh, they've been on a roll. They've been, like, they've been on a roll. Like, Doruk has been putting in that work. Uh, <clears throat> Magnazones. Uh, well, they've had two technically forfeit wins in the last two weeks, so we don't know what they're going to be doing here. Hopefully they can, they, they can prove themselves. Um, but I mean, I, I doubt that, uh, the, that, the uh, Combuskins are going to, they're not going to be going down without a fight. So I'm just saying, that's going to be interesting. Um, and then the last match is the Sunfisk versus the Mill Tanks. Mill Tanks got their first win last week. Uh, the stall tactic worked! Plus... She had some offense, so she was able to, you know, uh, take down the Combuskins uh, in a in a very fashionable way. And I, I mean, this is gonna be a tough match because the Sunfix don't really have. I mean, I guess Mega Metagross is something, but there's a lot of walls in there that Mega Metagross cannot touch. For example, that Rotom Wash, mm -mm. that Mega Slow Rope, mm -mm. there is. I mean, wait a minute. The Sunfix don't have a Mega Metagross. They have a Mega Glalie. What the fuck am I saying? Uh, they have Garchomp. That's what it is. Garchomp can't deal with Rotom Wash. And Rotom Wash can burn it. Uh, especially if she brings a physically defensive one. She has Jellicent, uh, which is definitely going to be putting in some work. I mean, the, she needs to worry about that Suicune. Obviously, the Suicune is always going to be a problem. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure she can at least wall it or phase it out. She does have Jolteon, uh, so that is definitely going to help her out a little bit. But we'll see how this goes. I'm definitely looking forward to this one, see if uh if the walls can stand up again and just take down the opponent uh one at a time stall the fuck out uh, actually now that i think about it she could wall suicune with uh she could she could trap suicune with tango oh my gosh i just realized that she toxics it goes for the the what, what's that one move called the the bug type move uh, damn it what the fuck i forget the name Infestation. She could she could use Infestation, Toxic, Protect, Leaf Seed. Oh my gosh, Suku is gone. Jesus Christ. She could even go for Giga Drain instead of Tox. I mean, I don't know. I think definitely that she should go for the physical move because if she's gonna, if he's gonna be using Calm Mind, you definitely want to start aiming the physical side. I don't know. This is gonna be this is gonna be crazy. If she, if she traps that Suku and it's over. Oh my. Is she. Oh my gosh. Damn. That's gonna be crazy. I can't wait to see that. We're gonna see. I'm really looking forward to that match. I'm, look, I'm actually looking forward to a lot of these matches. Uh, we'll see how the, the week goes. Um, but like I said, guys, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, look forward to the matches on Tuesday. And then uh, I am going to make a video with Joey to let you guys know what picks were taken, you know, uh, what Pokemons were dropped and which ones were added. And then we're obviously going to go over uh, Zach's team, uh, the new coach, um, when he makes his, his draft, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to be doing a live stream. Uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know if it's a, good, it's a bad idea to, to plan it, but I'm ex I'm going to try to have my week, my monthly stream tomorrow. So I hope to see you guys there. Um, and Fairy Tales is on today. So if you guys are interested in Fairy Tale, well, I'm going to be making a review for the new episode. But yeah, so that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Soros Croxon. And I'll see you guys in future videos.